All right, Corey, thank you. 431, we're starting with a Fox 10 News alert. A Phoenix police officer rushed to the hospital after being shot in central Phoenix. Danielle Miller is live near 15th Avenue in Camelback with details on what happened and how the officer is doing. Danielle. Good morning. Yes, that's still a very active investigation out here. Dozens and dozens of police officers still here on scene uh, investigating exactly what happened just within the matter of 10 minutes. Three mobile command units just arrived on scene here to continue this investigation. We're right in between 15th Avenue and 16th Avenue along Camelback. Uh, it is tucked away behind here. There's uh, what appears to be apartment complexes, uh, maybe some condo complexes here uh, in this area, several roads around the area area are closed off at this time and what we know uh, Phoenix police tweeting not too long ago that an officer has been rushed to the hospital after being shot uh, here in this area. They do tell us that the suspect is in custody at this time. Uh, no word yet on what led up to this shooting here but we do know the officer was sent to a St. Joe's where a police tell us they will be giving us an update momentarily so we will stand by for that to uh, find out and learn more what happened out here early this morning. Uh, as well as uh, the officer's uh, identity and condition at this time. We do not know those things, so we will stay on this. Uh, any updates that do become available, we'll pass those along. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Danielle, thank you. And also, we do have a live look at St. Joseph's Hospital. These are the pictures coming in there. And this is where the officer was taken. A number of police officers have arrived and are outside. You can see uh, exactly as we zoom in, they have the... Uh, Part of that area kind of blocked off, but uh, just a little bit further beyond, you can see the number of officers that have gathered uh, in support of their fellow officer. We do not know that officer's condition at this time, but we'll continue, obviously, to follow the story very closely. And our thoughts and prayers are with that officer's family at this time as well.